The next topic I'd like to talk about is overuse injuries. Now there are many, many overuse injuries, so I'll really just cover the main ones that you may suffer from. The important thing is with overuse injuries is to listen to your body. Pain will start very, very slowly, insidiously, um, and be very, very low key, but it will get slowly get progressively worse the more you exercise and the more you run. So at the early stages, you can actually correct problems or treat problems to stop it becoming chronic. And that's what we're looking for. We do not want you to stop your training or your events because an overuse injury has become too acutely painful. So the main areas for overuse injuries commonly will be Achilles tendon and calf. So it's very, very important that you keep mobility in the area. So you do a lot of stretching. I prefer to get people to stretch post-training when you're nice and warm, you're nice and supple. That doesn't mean you shouldn't stretch before you run. You should, you, you should build up to your, your training very, very slowly, get your body temperature up, get the blood pumping around the body, do some gentle stretching, and then do your training. But when you finish your training, that's the time to do your more aggressive stretching, to get the elasticity back into a tired muscle. So the first area of overuse will be the Achilles tendon, and so you would do a calf stretch. Then moving on to the knee, the next area that you often get overuse injuries is the patella tendon, attaching to the front of the knee. Similar sort of thing, um, you can develop anterior knee pain from the patella tendon or anterior knee pain from the soft tissues at the front of the knee. Now these will be created by the continual pounding of when you're training or running. So again, it's important to keep flexibility of all the muscles around the area. So make sure you stretch your quads, make sure you stretch your hamstrings, but also make sure you stretch your anterior tibial muscles. And you can do that by pointing your toes down and stretching those anterior muscles. Massage after the event is very, very important. So again, overuse injuries. You will feel the pain coming on very, very slowly. Probably not while you're exercising. It will come over on in the next 24 to 48 hours. Listen to your body. If you start getting low grade pain, seek professional medical advice to make sure it doesn't become acutely painful. Because there's certain things we can do to help you through your training program and stop this getting any worse. The last area that you can get overuse injuries is around the hip joint. And that may be where the quadriceps muscle inserts are just above the hip joint, or the hamstrings insert into the ischial tuberosity around your bottom at the back of the hip joint. And again, these are normally caused by tightness in the muscles and then you continue running when you're tired and you're pulling on the tendons of insertion. Again, the pelvic ring can be quite inflamed if you, over, if you overuse it. The important thing from all of these is the same with the ankle and the knee joint. The pain will come on very, very slowly. Listen to your body. When the pain starts, get professional medical advice to stop it becoming acutely painful and then stop you doing all your training and hopefully not to stop you doing your event. So the earlier you can get advice, the quicker the rehabilitation can start or the management of the injury can start and it will prevent you missing your event. Because what we're looking for at the end is for you to enjoy the event, get through it pain free, but more importantly, want to do it again to raise more money for the Brain and Spine Foundation.